Let me say to all Americans, and to those of us who've gathered with a single purpose of taking this country back for the glory of God, and that's the only reason I'm here, and I trust you as well. Don't be deceived by deceptive words. Don't believe because we're Americans, it's going to all turn out all right. Beloved, I counted up the years out of the last 20 that what we thought were God-fearing Republicans were in control and most of the, of the downgrade has happened under their stewardship. I'm not here as a Republican nor a Democrat. I'm here as a follower of Jesus Christ, as a Christocrat, if you will. And I am going to be loyal and I'm going to work until Jesus comes for any candidate that will stand up without shame and say, yes, there's a God. I'm not ashamed of our godly heritage. There is a right and there is a wrong and it's a discernible understanding of what right and wrong is. We have a constitution. It's not living so you can pour water on it and change it or crop it or renew it as you want to. It is a document that is as solid in its standing and as rooted in truth as is the Bible in its own venue. One to direct the government and the other to direct the affairs of all of mankind. It wasn't until the last 30 years that because of our allowing the subversive to steal the minds of our school children and to co-opt our educational institutions and even when we had God-fearing men supposedly running the government we didn't have the will to defund the, 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 the Department of Education or even the, 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 the demonic organization called Planned Parenthood that this year gets 350 million dollars that you pay in your taxes to slaughter innocent unborn children well, I'll tell you, the other side knows how to wield power. The day the President of the United States put his hand on the Bible, his minions were changing the official White House website to reflect a whole new understanding of civil rights. To include homosexuals, which the Bible still refers to as sodomites, which no one wants to talk about because it reminds us of their behavior. We have now in the last eight months seen a progressive move toward elevating and protecting that class of sin and creating laws to put anyone in jail who dare cause it what the Bible calls it, sin. Now put me in jail if you will. That's not the worst thing that can happen. The worst thing that can happen is we cut off the, the lifeline of salvation to those involved in that or any other sin by declaring that you can't preach this Bible. And that's where we are as a culture. Our president said, judge me by the people I surround myself with. Well, after we began calling his hands on the ones we knew, he built a shadow government. Of men that, and women that no one even knew about. And only now as we begin to uncover and look at the weave that's been woven. Do we find a whole subculture of well financed, well healed and highly staffed professional infidels. Who have dedicated their life to the transformation of the freest land on earth. Until she falls to the ground in the dung heap of all of those who have tried this before. Beloved, the only ones that can do anything about that are those who fear God, adhere to His truth, and are unashamed of His word. It was judges, not